Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Ever wished you could play Spider-Man anywhere you go? Well, now you can. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can swing through New York City, fight bad guys, and explore the open world of Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered right on your phone. No console, no streaming, and completely offline. We'll be using Winlater CMod V13.1, and I'll guide you step by step so you can get the game running smoothly. Huge thanks to Winlater HD for providing the best settings you'll see in this video. So grab your phone, get comfortable, and let's jump right in. First things first, open up your Winlater app. You'll be asked for a permission, so just go ahead and grant them. Once you see the information screen, simply click Continue. After that, Winlater will start initializing its data. This part might take a little while, so grab a snack or scroll through memes. Patience is key here. When that's done, head to the main menu and open Settings. We'll start with Box 64 Preset Mode. Set it to Performance for the best speed. Then, bump your cursor speed all the way up to 200%. That'll make menu navigation a lot smoother once we're inside the game. Everything else can stay as it is for now. now now it's time to create a container. Think of it as a little virtual PC environment inside your phone. Now tap on New Container. For screen resolution, pick 1280 by 720. It's a good balance between visuals and performance. Wine version should be set to Proton 9.0 ARM 64EC. For GPU driver, select Wrapper, then tap the Settings button. If you're using a Snapdragon phone, choose the Turnip GPU driver, specifically Turnip 25.3.0 R3 Zero Auto. If you have a MediaTek or Mali device, stick with the system. System driver. Since Spider-Man Remastered is a DirectX 12 game, set DX driver to VKD3D. For its configuration, pick version 2.113 and set the feature level to 12.2. Audio driver goes to New Alsa Reflector. If you want to track performance, you can enable Show FPS. Finally, scroll all the way down and set your video memory size to 4 Guy. While still in the Create Container screen, open Advanced Settings. Box 64 version should be 0.3.7. Keep the Box 64 preset as performance mode. Set FexCore version to FexCore 2508. TSO mode should be set to fastest and make sure multi-block is enabled. When that's all done, save your container. Now open your new container and head into your internal storage to find your Spider-Man remastered game file and launch the game.exe file. I won't show the actual file here because of piracy issues. The game will start loading and after a few minutes, you'll get a small pop-up from Spider-Man remastered. Just hit OK. You'll land on the small home page. Before diving in, go into settings, then grab graphics settings, and set everything to very low. Hit OK, then go back to the home page and click play. When the game starts, open Winlater's task manager and check your memory usage. If you see a boost, great, you're good to go. If not, close and restart the game for better results. Soon, you'll see the intro credits, and that's when you can enable your virtual gamepad controls. And just like that, you're in the open world as Spider-Man. On my Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 device, you can expect around 10 to 15 frames per second. Playable, but not buttery smooth. Still, swinging through New York, even at lower frames feels amazing on a phone. For those who don't know, Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered is one of the most successful superhero games ever, praised for its fluid combat, gorgeous city design, and heart-pounding web-slinging. It's a full open-world experience with a rich story, intense boss fights, and plenty of side missions to keep you hooked. While right now the performance on mobile isn't perfect, Winlater is constantly evolving. I'm hopeful that in future updates we'll see Spider-Man swinging smoothly at higher FPS, making this not just a proof of concept, but a full-on portable gaming reality. And that's how you can play Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered on your mobile using Winlater CMod V13.1. If this guide helped you, smash that like button, drop a comment with your experience, and subscribe for more mobile gaming tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep gaming and keep swinging.